Hi, Libra. <clears throat> Welcome to your weekly run. It's actually a very funny morning. Um, I was about to leave, and then the door got stuck, so I have to call the housekeeping and, you know, let, uh, let them get the door fixed. When the door got fixed, now it's raining. So I'm just waiting for the rain to stop. So let's do your forecast for this week. Oh, same old storyline. Probably all signs are dealing with one and the same person, eh? Or one storyline. Alright, so some of you are dealing with an earth sign. There's like a fallout. It's a relationship. You're trying to heal. Someone's trying to heal. You're working on your finances. But someone just keeps on getting it effed up for you. You need to be more conscious of the people that you're surrounding yourself with. Somebody wants to do something to you. Something dark. So, you have some friends that are very envious of you. Um, these people are also the ones that's been causing a lot of distress and a lot of tension in your relationship. You're trusting the wrong kind of people. Yeah, be very careful. There's someone around you that's been probably following you around. This person could see that you're very abundant. Okay, that you do have a lot of money. There is somebody from the past. Probably, you know, that, you're, that you want to make some changes. Make amends. Probably this is a fire sign. You're dealing with an earth or a fire sign. It could be that they have all these signs in their chart. Somebody from the past, definitely. Okay, but your friends actually told you not to. Or not to get back together with this person. They've given you a lot of options. Or they are, you know, they told you that, oh, you do have a lot of options. You're very good looking. Okay. This person must be older than you. They have a cat and dog. It could be that they have, I don't know, multiple animals around them. But definitely this person has some cats and dogs. Okay. And this person is very centered, grounded, spiritual. Um, you know, this type of a person is... Yeah, probably they also have water sign in their chart. I feel like that this is only one person, but could be that all of the signs that I have mentioned, we have Virgo, Aries, Gemini, Taurus, Leo, uh, Sagittarius. Yeah, Scorpio. Yeah, this person is like, you know, they're just busy minding their own stuff. They are very much contented with the life and the world that they have. This person is actually with somebody already. So how are you going to be together? You're also asking the same. Okay, because you really want to be with this person. You've been waiting. For your wishes to be fulfilled. Both of you have feelings for each other. Trying to make a decision, probably a plan. Okay. Hmm. One of you cut off the other, or both of you probably just stop speaking to each other. And there seems to be like 
like a spiritual awakening that's been going on and happening between the two of you and this person is like going through a lot of stuff you know having an awakening is not that easy this person is also trying to choose a direction they're standing at a crossroads they're waiting for, I don't know, either they're waiting for your communication or whatever it is that you can offer, or you're the one who's waiting for something from them. You're trying to pull your strength. You're so worried about rejection. You are trying to picture yourself being with this person. Some of you have already resisted this connection. Yeah, told you. So, some of you have been like really in denial of this connection. You've surrounded yourself with the wrong kind of advices, wrong kind of people. Instead of talking to this person, you just made it worse. Some of you, you must have been like engaged in the past with this one. Or there was like an engagement or it could be you, you could have talked about moving in together, getting a house together, or you pictured yourself being married with this one, having a family with this person. It could be that you have a family or children, but you walked away. There is like a distance between the two of you. All right. So what's going to happen now? You feel stuck. Both of you actually were stuck with each other. And both of you are just waiting for the big talk, big communications. Um, both of you are very intuitive. Or it could be that you're both consulting oracles or readers. You're trying to make sense or logic out of the situation, but what you feel is what you feel. You want to put your foot down. You feel like you're aiming blindedly into something. You're the one who'll be calling the shots or you're the one who actually needs to do something. Because you're the one who disconnected from this person. They have tried, but it seems like, you know, they only want to be free from this as much as, you know, you also want the same thing. But it's not yet over. The more you try to deny this connection, the more it will just like bury both of you. It's not going to be that easy. Uh, there will be a talk. And don't be afraid because I don't feel like they're going to be rejecting you. They've been waiting for your communications or for you to reach out as well. Alright, probably swallow your pride a little bit. Because there will be some forward movement. This person has been trying to heal from you, trying to heal from this connection for so long. And I feel like finally they've already done it. So this could be your Divine Feminine, and you're the Divine Masculine, alright? There will be a big forward movement, but this time I don't feel like you can escape this one. It's time. It's time for you to have that big talk. Higher view. Birds of a feather flock together the land between yeah you need to be in a neutral ground and broken open you're gonna be freeing yourself up your heart has been like blocked and been wrapped up in a you know like in a like in a like in the darkness and i feel like it's time for you to un, you know un unblock your heart chakra it's time for you to unblock this person it's time for you to initiate the contact because they've been waiting for you. You are actually the one who's delaying this process. All right. They're actually very open-minded, so don't be afraid to approach them. And you're going to be surprised. You know, this person is actually very kind-hearted as well. So don't be afraid. They're not mad at you. You're the one who's actually mad at them. All right. And I feel like this person still have the same feelings for you. Strong feelings. All right. Anyway, hope to see you the extended. If you want to talk to me, love it, phone, love it, call, just go visit me at my website, svclairvoy.com. Blessings to you.